So these stretches and exercises are great for retail workers, factory workers, any kind of job where you're standing up all day. Uh, you can get really tired, especially depending on the surface that you have to stand on. So a great stretch that I like, you can do uh, anytime you're just taking a quick break, is a standing back extension. So with the back extension, spread your feet out a little bit so you've got some balance. If you have some balance issues, make sure you're near something that you can hold on to. Um, but it's just like it sounds, you're extending your back. I like to put my hands kind of on the back of my head here and I'm just extending, kind of bringing the um, front part of my body forward and then my head back. And I'm getting just a, a nice kind of, you know, stretch through the front and just kind of a stretch into the back area as well. Um, so with this, just depending on how comfortable it is and again, depending on your balance, you can do it for a full 30 second stretch or you can just kind of, you know, stretch it out a little bit, 10 to 15 seconds and then come back up. So usually three times for 30 seconds is the best but with that one, since it's a little bit of an awkward position, you can shorten it a little bit if you want to. The next one is just going to be a standing rotation, trunk rotation. And again, this kind of really helps uh, stretch out your spine a little bit. If you're standing in one spot, which is kind of the worst for your body because gravity is just pushing down on it, you know, if you can't move around a whole lot, this is really nice to kind of stretch out your spine as well. And so it's just, again, kind of like it sounds, it's a standing trunk rotation. I like to sometimes grab my opposite hip just to help me get that rotation here. You don't have to, you can just kind of bring your arms back and around if you want to. Again, um, you know, I like to kind of hold on because then I can get that extra little pull for that stretch. Again, 30 seconds is ideal, um, but again, this is kind of a, a awkward position for some people. Uh, make sure you're spreading your feet out so you've got that balance and then rotating. So 30 seconds is ideal, but you know, if you can only do about 10 to 15 seconds, you're gonna feel that nice stretch through there. Sometimes if you're um, tight, it might feel like it wants to cramp a little bit. So just be gentle with it, go a little bit if it feels okay then you can stretch it a little bit more ideally three times on each side then a lot of times too if you're staying all day your neck area can get tired especially if you bring your head forward a little bit then sometimes you're going to get some pressure on that area so just some simple neck circles really helps and it's easy to do uh, without really stopping what you're doing so just um, gentle stretches like this some people like just to do the half circles if, if going into the extension is uncomfortable. Um, I like doing a whole neck circle uh, just because a lot of times I can feel the pops and, and cracks and just things kind of working out and adjusting. So again, whatever's comfortable for you, if you just want to do the half circles, you can feel your neck uh, muscle stretching there. If you feel comfortable going into that extension or you're allowed to go into that extension, um, I really feel like that helps me going all the way around. So uh, make sure you're going both directions, clockwise and counterclockwise. Again, you can do it for time or you can just do five one way and five the other way, whatever works for you. Usually starting off with a little bit and then building yourself up to a little bit more is really a good way to go. Again, if you're standing a lot, you wanna get your body moving. Staying in one position isn't great for your body. So if you have the area to do it, then just something like a simple march is great. Um, one, because you're getting those legs moving a little bit, keeping that circulation flowing, shifting your body, but really just kind of getting some movement in your body. So this is a great one to do. You don't have to bring your knees up super high. You know, if you're, you know, kind of behind a counter or something, you can just do this a little bit. Um, but if you bring it up higher, you'll work those legs a little bit more. Again, you can go for time or you can just say, you know, I'm going to do 10, going alternating back and forth on each side. I do like to alternate. Some people might just want to kind of do one side, all of them on one side and then switch. You can do that too. Um, a lot of times when you're doing standing exercises like Remy um, or standing in one spot a lot, you tend to get the fascia, the plantar fascia on the bottom of your foot kind of irritated and tired sometimes. So if you've got like a wall or um, a counter or something where you can prop your foot up to stretch out that plantar fascia, this is a great stretch to do if you're on your feet all day and you can kind of feel those uh, the, the muscles on the bottom of your feet tightening up. So all you have to do is just kind of prop it up. I don't have my shoes on. Sometimes you get a little bit better stretch without your shoes on, but if you're at work or doing something, leave your shoes on unless you want to take them off. But what I'm doing is I'm just propping my toes up as high as I can with my heel down keeping my legs straight, and then I'm just leaning into it. I'm getting a great stretch in my calf area. I'm getting a great stretch in that plantar fascia area. A lot of times if your calves are tight, that will affect the plantar fascia. So that's why this stretch 
is kind of a double stretch. It's nice. It's it feels really, really good, especially if all those muscles are tight. Holding that for 30 seconds, really try and get that full 30 seconds. Switch sides. Again, you know, the more you lean in, the more of a stretch you're gonna get. Um, you should feel it in your toes and in the back of your leg, your calf area, your Achilles tendon area, all that nice, uh, getting nice and stretched out right there. So really hold it for the 30 seconds. If you can't do three on each side, that's okay. But to really loosen up muscles, you wanna hold it for that full 30 seconds. So if you're interested in supporting my channel, click on the link up there and don't forget to subscribe by clicking down there. And remember, be safe, have fun, and I hope you feel better soon.